Nazi, it feels like a highlight of this tournament for you has been your opening preparation. You're just getting better position, uh, uh, positions out of the opening in pretty much every single game. Did you do anything specific? Like, uh, how many hours were you preparing before this event? <laughs> yes, every so single day? last year at the US Champs, I did really badly, so I took my time to come prepare this time. Mm -hmm. I don't have a coach or anything, but I did spend really a lot of time. And uh, today I got especially lucky in the first game because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. had this position on the board in my room. In your preparation? Yes. Yeah. All the way up until you got the decisive um, advantage? With... Yes, I expected in like earlier C5 instead of knight D7 and A6. Um, Perhaps even before right. A6. But I think C5, she just, yeah. exactly, yes. Um, I think she just blundered a pawn or two. Maybe on D take C5, at least she should take with the knight. Yes. But I should still be better. You can take on D5, get right. the isolated queen's pawn, and that should give you an advantage. Yeah, so this game went about as well as it could have gone. For did you me. feel like you were letting it slip away, or did you feel in full control the whole time? I felt in full control, and I made sure to not give her any uh, counter attacking chances because she's so good at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I made sure my king was safe. Um, yeah, it went. It uh, felt pretty smooth. And how about the second game? There was some pressure coming from her side in the second yeah, one. Yeah, I was not happy with queen c7. As soon as I made that move, um, my idea was that if she plays c5, mm -hmm. I'm going to go bishop h2 check, mm -hmm. king h1, bishop takes e2, and then bishop f4. But then I immediately realized that she can take with the queen on e2. Mm. OK. Maybe it's still fine, but And that I doesn't didn't allow to... you to go bishop f4 right. because take. And, and then two rooks. I can take on d4, but honestly, didn't want to play this in, uh, in rapid. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially with the king stuck on the eighth rank, looks dangerous, right? Yeah. Any and sort of imbalances, you don't want to see that. Exactly. So I ended up in this very passive position, and I think after knight f4, bishop g6, if she went immediate d5 here, I was pretty worried. Yes, yes, that was uh, in fact the best yeah. move according to the engine as well. You had some ideas to tame the position, but it wasn't easy. Right. At this point, yeah. So I was happy when she delayed d5 and went p4. That gave me time to improve my position. I think I'm still slightly worse, but at least I, I felt like I could hold this. Yes, and it did feel like finally Just you have managed to, be to equalize. accurate and not let her get a dangerous pass pawn. This right. pawn on c5 most likely, and you did find a way to do just that. Were you worried at all about this <laughs> long diagonal? I was. I was uh, repeating to myself, if she goes queen e3, don't allow queen e5. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't want to see the queen land on e5, that's for sure. Which it didn't. Uh, and this was the position, and after that, at this point, I would assume, once you took on c6, you understood I, this is it, the match is yeah. mine. Here I could relax finally, yes. Absolutely. It's Tomorrow you will be facing... Uh, Begim Tokir Jonova, uh, mm -hmm. do you have, I will ask you the same thing as I asked her, do you have any experience against her? How would you assess that match and what are you going to do special for it? Uh, I think I've only played her twice in the last two years championships, only in classical games. Uh, I don't know her that well, but I'm going to continue preparing as well as I have and we'll see what happens. Guys. Any questions? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, our congratulations to you, Najee. Uh, you mentioned that you don't have a chess coach. You don't have a chess coach. So how do you train yourself? <laughs> like a lot of young ladies out there would like to ask you the question, how do you train yourself? You don't have a coach. Somebody <laughs> telling you what you're supposed to do. I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> That's why I don't have a coach. Um, That's the that explains that one. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had a coach since I was 16 years old, um, mainly because, like I said, I'm pretty stubborn. I like to play what I like to play, and I don't like to compromise. Uh, and uh, the way to study on your own is just uh, if you love the game and you're disciplined. We all have uh, computers, chess-based engine. It's pretty easy. There you go. Uh -huh. Stubborn. I like so, it. You see, you, 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 you keep, yeah. you, you keep to I'm, what I'm you know. Our congratulations. Good luck in yeah. uh, your next match. Thank you. Thank you. you. like her answer there? That's how you do it? You just, you got your engines, you got yeah, your Yeah, I mean, it, it's very much a, pers a personal thing. Yeah. 